One of the world's largest motor shows has kicked off in New Delhi with Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying India's automotive industry is, quote, future ready. And it looks like electric vehicles might be driving that future, going by the big reviews. While the world anticipated Tesla's affordable electric car and China saturated markets with compact EVs, India stealthily unveiled a game changer nobody saw coming. A brand new electric vehicle, priced at just 2,099 US dollars, is now rattling the global EV industry to its foundation. It's not merely inexpensive. It's clever, efficient, and entirely crafted on Indian soil. How did a startup achieve this feat? What kind of car can be so affordable yet functional? Just a few years back, India barely registered in global discussions about the electric vehicle revolution. The focus remained on powerhouses like China, Germany, and the United States, where EV companies secured billions in funding and grabbed headlines with sleek concept cars. Meanwhile, India grappled with soaring fuel costs, gridlocked traffic, and crumbling infrastructure. Yet, with remarkable speed, the nation switched gears. Government policies began championing sustainable transport, subsidies spurred EV production and purchases, and public attitudes shifted swiftly. Across India's cities and towns, small showrooms started showcasing electric scooters, and curious buyers, once skeptical, began placing deposits. Initially, the surge was dominated by two-wheelers. Scooters from brands like Ola, Ather, and TVS started overtaking petrol vehicles, not only in tech-forward metros but also in smaller Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. The streets transformed. The quiet hum of battery-powered rides began replacing the clatter of two-stroke engines. Then, something surprising unfolded. The four-wheeler market gained momentum. Tata Motors spearheaded the shift, rolling out compact EVs that were both practical and affordable. Mahindra followed closely. MG and Hyundai introduced premium models to lure early adopters seeking cutting-edge options. Gradually, Indian consumers realized EVs weren't just a distant dream. They were here and now. But nobody foresaw what came next. While Tesla hyped a $25,000 mass-market car and BYD scaled up in China, a new player emerged quietly from India. It wasn't a tech titan or a legacy carmaker. It was a scrappy startup called Yakuza Auto. Their creation, a mini electric car priced at roughly 2,099 US dollars, didn't just become the world's cheapest EV. It challenged everything the global industry believed about affordability, scale, and what drivers truly need. This isn't a luxury ride. It's not built for cross-country road trips or high-tech autopilot features only geeks get. It's something far bolder. The Yakuza Mini EV is a city car, stripped of frills but loaded with essentials. It has four wheels, a practical yet compact interior, a lightweight battery, and a range exceeding 100 kilometers per charge. For urban commuters, students, gig workers, and small families, it delivers exactly what's needed. Transport at a fraction of the cost. That price is the real story. At just under 1 lakh 75,000 rupees, the car became an instant hit. Headlines worldwide pose the same questions, how is this possible? Can an electric car this cheap be safe? Will it last? Will people buy it? Most crucially, is this the future of mobility? The timing was impeccable. With rising oil prices, growing environmental concerns, and increasingly congested cities, the demand for small, 
reliable, eco-friendly cars became undeniable. But affordability was critical. That's where Yakuza Auto delivered what no one else could, not just a prototype or concept, but a real production vehicle, built in India for Indian roads, using local materials, labor, and design. What does this say about global EV strategies? Are the billions poured into flashy features, sleek designs, and overpowered engines truly necessary, or has India revealed a smarter, simpler path? How did Yakuza auto slash prices by over 90% while still delivering a working car? The answer lies in how this vehicle is made and how India's unique manufacturing approach has birthed a product that could reshape transportation forever. While global tech giants race to redefine the EV industry with glitzy features and premium price tags, something quietly revolutionary was stirring in India's streets. The Yakuza Mini EV didn't launch with celebrity fanfare or blockbuster events. It didn't boast self-driving AI or a luxury SUV vibe. What it offered was far more powerful in a nation where millions rely on two-wheelers or public transit. It promised accessibility. And that promise resonated louder than any billion-dollar ad campaign. In the US and China, EV innovation often focuses on performance and prestige. Tesla's Cybertruck, for example, generated massive buzz and pre-orders, but even its cheapest model remains out of reach for many middle-class families. BYD, a Chinese giant, has made strides with sleek sedans and electric buses, yet their most affordable models still cost around $20,000, pricing out millions, especially in developing nations. India's Yakuza Mini EV, at just over $2,000, turned that model upside down. Instead of packing in every possible feature, it asked a simpler question, what does a city commuter really need? The answer was modest, a safe, small, economical, easy-to-maintain vehicle that gets you from point A to point B reliably. Ditch the touchscreens, heated seats, sunroofs, and infotainment systems, and you get a streamlined machine that knows its audience. In doing so, the Yakuza Mini EV became more disruptive than even the flashiest prototypes. It's not a concept for tomorrow, it's a solution for today. The strategy behind this car shows a deep understanding of India's urban landscape. Cities like Mumbai, Delhi, and Bengaluru are packed with dense neighborhoods, narrow markets, chaotic traffic, and scarce parking. A hulking luxury sedan might impress, but it's impractical. The Yakuza, however, glides through the chaos effortlessly. That quiet glide is now echoing globally. When news of an electric vehicle priced at one-tenth of a Tesla spread across North America and Europe, curiosity exploded. The conversation shifted from Tesla's affordable Model 2 to how India built a viable EV so cheaply. Analysts and think tanks began dissecting the Yakuza model, studying its locally sourced parts, decentralized assembly, and city-focused design. What they discovered was eye-opening. Yakuza's affordability didn't come from cutting corners, it came from reimagining the supply chain. While others bet big on robotic factories and global logistics, Yakuza leaned on skilled labor, local factories, and just-in-time production. This approach didn't demand billion-dollar investments. It required ingenuity, persistence, and a keen grasp of Indian consumer needs. That's the real disruption. The Yakuza Mini EV wasn't chasing global acclaim, it was built to serve communities. Yet, in doing so, it caught the eye of global players now rethinking their strategies. What happens when innovation comes from the ground up, not the top down? 
What happens when the EV revolution isn't driven by Silicon Valley or Shenzhen, but by a workshop in Ahmedabad or Pune? This underdog story doesn't end here. Next, we'll dive into how India's EV infrastructure is quietly evolving and how this tiny car might soon cruise roads far beyond its homeland. Could the Yakuza Mini EV become the first truly global people's car of the electric era? As the Yakuza Mini EV gains global traction, something even bigger is unfolding behind the scenes. It's not just about the car. It's about the roads, plugs, wires, and energy that make it possible. Because for any electric revolution to succeed, the vehicles are only half the equation. Infrastructure is the real game changer, and India is building it faster than many realize. Just a few years ago, driving an EV across Indian cities sparked countless concerns. Where would you charge? How long would it take? What about power outages? Could an EV handle the heat, monsoons, or rough roads? Today, those doubts are fading fast. Across India, thousands of charging stations are quietly popping up, not just in major cities like Delhi or Bengaluru, but in fast-growing Tier 2 and Tier 3 towns. You'll now find chargers at malls, office lots, metro stations, highway stops, and even residential areas. Some offer fast charging for small cars like the Yakuza Mini EV, juicing up in hours. Others provide overnight options for apartment dwellers. What once felt like a hurdle is now just part of daily life. But charging stations are only part of the picture. The real story is the electricity powering them. India is increasingly tapping renewables, from vast solar farms in Rajasthan to wind projects in Tamil Nadu. The aim isn't just electrification. It's clean electrification. That makes the Yakuza Mini EV more than a budget car. It's a vehicle powered by sun and wind, promising quieter, cleaner cities. The government isn't sitting idle. Through bold initiatives like the National Electric Mobility Mission and faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles, India has set ambitious electrification goals. These include buyer incentives, tax breaks, manufacturer subsidies, and investments in local battery production. This lowers barriers for buyers and startups like Yakuza Auto, who can now aim higher, knowing they're supported. Even Indian Railways is on board, installing chargers at stations. Cities are adding electric buses to public transit. Delivery giants like Zomato and Swiggy are electrifying their fleets. The future isn't coming, it's here. And cars like the Yakuza Mini EV aren't just part of it, they're shaping it. This transformation is evident even in the mindset of India's middle class. A generation that once viewed car ownership as a luxury now sees it as a blend of sustainability and freedom. Parents are gifting electric vehicles to their kids starting their first jobs. Young professionals are swapping motorbikes for budget-friendly four-wheelers that don't rely on petrol. Retirees are opting for compact electric cars for peaceful errands, unburdened by engine issues or soaring fuel costs. India's urban landscape is evolving too. City planning is starting to embrace EV-friendly zones. Parking areas now boast green spaces marked with charging symbols. Residential complexes are incorporating shared chargers into their designs. Companies are rewarding employees who choose electric mobility. Even insurance rates are adjusting to reflect the reduced long-term risks of electric powertrains. In this setting, the Yakuza Mini EV is more than just a vehicle. It represents what happens when a country's technology, 
infrastructure, and policies align seamlessly. It's the kind of harmony that even more advanced nations have found hard to achieve. The Yakuza Mini EV story extends beyond India's borders. This affordable electric car could soon disrupt global markets. Picture a world where low-income families in Africa, Southeast Asia, or South America can afford an electric vehicle cheaper than a typical motorcycle. For years, EVs symbolized luxury and innovation in rich nations, but that's shifting fast. What started as a local trend in India has become a global example of frugal innovation. When global companies and policymakers seek models of cost-effective transport, they'll study this small Indian car. Not for breaking speed records or offering plush interiors, but for delivering exactly what people need without excess or inflated costs. Already, African nations are taking note. Governments in Kenya, Nigeria, and Ghana are exploring alternatives to diesel-powered public transport, which harms the environment and strains budgets with costly fuel imports. The Yakuza EV is lightweight, compact, affordable, and adaptable, ideal for local customization. This makes it especially appealing to developing economies that often import pricey vehicles from wealthier nations, only to face maintenance costs, part shortages, and unsuitable road conditions. With its high ground clearance, locally sourced components, and swappable battery system, the Yakuza proves electric mobility can be truly universal. Indian trade partners are already discussing licensing or exporting the design in bulk, meaning this little car could soon navigate dusty rural roads in Malawi or bustling city streets in Peru. But this global impact isn't just about logistics or pricing. It's about reshaping perceptions. For decades, the idea of a global car that's affordable, eco-friendly, and practical seemed out of reach. Cars were either cheap and polluting or clean and unaffordable. The Yakuza bridges that gap. Using local labor and India-made lithium-iron phosphate batteries isn't just a smart cost-cutting move. It's a bold statement that countries like India are no longer just following global trends. They're leading them. So, what's next for the world? Will other nations adopt this model and create their own versions? Will major automakers see that innovation isn't just about power, but also about purpose? Or will this be the moment the global EV revolution becomes what it was always meant to be, a movement for all, not just the elite? If you thought true innovation was only for the wealthy, this small Indian car proves otherwise. The Yakuza Mini EV isn't just a vehicle, it's a revolution on wheels. As the world watches, one thing is clear, the future of transport may be shaped not by billion-dollar giants, but by the quiet ingenuity of a dedicated few. Stay tuned, this is just the start.